Hello, everybody. It is the American Doofus Show. Don't be a doofus. I'm your host, Barry Welsh. It's not because of the American flag. It's not because they're against veterans. But this, this is why they kneel. And we will be right back here live after the national anthem, ladies and gentlemen. Well, looks like these two announcers forgot to mute their mics. The broadcasters swear when seeing high school women's b ball players take a knee. Yep. They bleep it out, but uh, effing inward. In uh, 2021, directed at high school girls basketball players by radio announcers. He said it, calling high schoolers the N word because of a silent gesture. And yes, we are back here in the booth, sponsored by the KKK. Enjoy the broadcast. Utterly, unequivocally racist from this announcer. A network announcer called members of Norman High's girls basketball team N-words during a game against... I'm, I'm going to pause this video right here to give you uh, plenty of chance to read and, uh, and to remind you that uh, the comments of... Uh, some contributors are uh, not necessarily the opinion of the American Dupa show. Uh, however, um, uh, um, you'll notice that in, in this um, that's on the screen, it doesn't mention using the F word in front of them, in front of the uh, uh, racist comment. Um, Some stories just sickened me to report on, and this is one of them. Midwest City Thursday night wrote the Black Wall Street Times. The quote, once again, printed by TMZ, of course, with asterisks because of how freaking vile and bigoted it was. And the whole reason we know about this, Frankie Parks, a coach for Norman High School, tweeted it out. Mika Perry, a University of Florida commit, tweeted two photos side by side with the caption, this is why we kneel. Senior Shantae Embry, a commit to Texas Tech University, tweeted, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess disgusting and people want to know why we kneel here's a prime example of why we do it i'm proud of my team and i for using our voices and being heard i love my girls and let's finish hashtag more than an athlete as in lebron's company motto kenny stills a wide receiver in the nfl who followed colin kaepernick's protest and was one of the first to take a knee tweeted the video to his more than 136,000 plus followers writing one word america Following in the footsteps of Brooklyn's own Joey Badass off his must-listen album, All-American Badass. NFL defensive lineman Gerald McCoy wrote above the racist video, See Why We Do It? They Still Think It's About the Flag? Norman Public Schools superintendent released a statement Friday morning condemning the racist comments. We condemn and will not tolerate the disgusting words and attitudes of these announcers. This type of hate speech has no place in our society, and we are outraged that it would be directed at any human being, and particularly at our students. We fully support our students' right to freedom of expression, and our immediate focus is to support these girls and their coaches and families, particularly our Black students and coaching staff. It is tragic that the hard work and skill of this team is being overshadowed by the vile, malignant words of these individuals. The mayor of Norman, 
tweeted this as well. I am livid and absolutely disgusted about the racist and hateful comments directed towards the young women on the Norman High basketball team by a game announcer in the live broadcast of last night's game. Oklahoma House Minority Leader Emily Virgin wrote, I am absolutely disgusted by the actions of the broadcasters who use racist slurs against our Norman High basketball team. They should immediately resign or be fired. Our student athletes should be commended for their courage, not disparage. Heartbreaking. Those wanting to voice their concerns have begun to directly email NFHS, which can be found at customer support at nfhsnetwork.com. There we go. And uh, I might get a copyright violation for that because that's uh, the Young Turks and uh, very popular, uh, long standing. Um, content provider and um, I, I don't care. Uh, I hope I don't, but uh, if I do, it's worth it because uh, people people need to hear this. This needs to get out uh, to as many people as possible. So if, uh, if you would um, either go to the Young Turks and share it from there or, uh, or share this, uh, episode of the American Doofus Show on your uh, social media. Um, however, uh, because this this is why this is why we do this. This is why we do end all racism because of, of stuff like this. And these two fine, upstanding broadcasters will probably probably would would have probably said publicly, "Oh, we're not racist. We're not racist at all." Um, but the microphone, uh, the truth always comes out. The truth always comes out. And uh, again, some some episodes are uh, are are sickening to do, and this is and this is indeed one of them. Now, two years from now, when end all racism is a massive movement we will file lawsuits against people doing things like this. That's how we're going to end all racism. We're going to do it legally. And, and these two broadcasters and their radio station would be targets if we were big enough. We're not there yet, but that's one of the things we're going to be doing. So don't think this is, a, this is not going to be a major movement. It's just starting out, it's just off the ground. It's not yet, but it is. And if you'd like to be one of the first 50 charter members, um, email me and I'll give you the details. American Doofus, all one word at gmail.com. If you'd like to help support the show, uh, we do need it. It is uh, dollar sign American Doofus at uh, the Cash App. And I thank you all for watching. And until next time, do not be a doofus. Do not hate. Uh, and um, it just, it sickens me. It really does. Um, and I'm just going to say, it's the American Doofus Show. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Barry Welsh. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. It's a dark world. Try to be a light. I love you all. Peace.